women are targets. Keep thinking about this. My dear friend Barry called me, texted me. He's in California, I'm here in Paris, but I've known him for over 10 years. And in the middle of the night, he sent me a text message and he's like, can I ask you a personal question? And I said, of course, I've known him over 10 years. He's one of the most amazing men I've ever had the pleasure of knowing. And um, he was telling me that he was reading this book on sexual abuse of women and that he just had so many questions because he's like, I, I, I keep, he's like, it's a great read, but I keep crying uncontrollably. And um, so we talk and I tell him the stark truth, you know, and when I woke up several days later, I decided to incorporate that into my work, that women are targets. I went to Whittier High, I was a track star, <laughs> but where I felt most free was in archery. I used to always hit the bullseye. Track was such a chore. Um, when Michael Jordan said he wanted to retire and just get fat and eat pancakes, and this was during high school, I immediately resonated with that because being an athlete, you're very much like a machine in terms of your discipline and archery was just so easy and so i'm telling you that this conversation with this dear friend barry who i met in orange county when i had a flat tire on the 405 freeway <laughs> and we've been friends ever since and my time here in paris where last year Millions of people swarmed here to this city to protest the rights of women that were being affected during retirement. And it made me look on, upon my life in this retrospective manner and think about all of the women and all of the ways, including myself, my sister, my friends, and I told Barry, I said, you know, we all know someone who has been sexually assaulted and it's strange that men don't know any of the predators. And so I told him how proud I was of him to continue his reading, but to always understand that he needs to also have these conversations with the men in his life. Um, but how grateful I was that he felt comfortable enough to ask some of the serious questions. As I sit here in Paris and I see everything that's happening in America, it's just become more and more blatantly obvious not only how the people of France have inspired me, but also how deeply backwards my native country is becoming. And I just wanted you to take a moment to think of how powerful you are to have endured everything that you've lived through and that there's a part of us for myself as an artist that is indestructible. And that is always what I intend to give through my work. The part of me that will not be silenced, will not necessarily be politically correct and will continue to beat the drum for where I am and how I reflect upon the world around me. So thank you women and thank you men that are allies because it's gonna take all of us to make a change to the bigger picture.